Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy SBS coming with you with another gaming review. You feel me? I know I haven't done any game reviews in a minute, so I promised y'all that I was going to continue on doing it. And as my word, I will keep on doing these game reviews until the break of dawn, until the end of time. You feel me? So I'm going to go ahead and talk about Mortal Kombat XL, how I feel about this game. I know this game is came out in 2015 if I'm not mistaken and um, pretty much the Mortal Kombat franchise has been a big success over the years and I want to talk about my perspective based on this game and also my concept about the pros and cons of Mortal Kombat XL so first and foremost um, I'll be honest with you guys um, I've never really had much experience playing Mortal Kombat growing up as a kid I know I played like the arcade games and the um, games from the um, old school generation of um, consoles like the um, Sega Genesis and all these other game consoles um, me personally um, I felt like I like Mortal Kombat to an extent but to me honest it's like I think Mortal Kombat have some complications when it comes to learning how to do the specials and um, it's kind of different from other fighting games over the years but uh, this game is a classic I will not lie and I will not bullshit y'all about this game um, I did however play the PlayStation 3 Mortal Kombat game, the reboot and stuff like that, which it was a good game. But since they made the X and the XL, uh, I only had purchased the XL. And honestly, I'm gonna give you my intake about it. Let me just talk about how the whole concept of the game is. So it's just like the um, previous Mortal Kombat games, where you have um, your story mode, your a uh, one-on-one -on -one battle and they reconsider putting like the practice between learning how to use whatever fighters you're using or characters you're using and on top of that uh, you learn how to do your fatalities which is pretty cool because again some people are not very good with the um, fatalities you know and sometimes you got memorize how to play the game I mean honestly I'm not a big I'm like I said I'm not always playing Mortal Kombat I've, even when I was a young kid I've never had the liberty to um, own a Mortal Kombat game I will say that this game however where you have different modes and um, the cryptic mode was pretty cool. You could get to hunt through treasures and see what you can get from different stages between the graveyard to the cave, and so and open up like tombs, and I mean tombstones and stuff like that to unlock money and prizes and stuff like that, which is cool, you know. Um, my thing is is that. It's also cool how they brought, like, for example, Jason and Leather Mask, I mean, Leatherface, um, Alien, Predator, and in fact, I really feel like uh, Alien was pretty much my favorite character during the Mortal Kombat stages. I mean, this motherfucker will fuck your ass up. And. I feel like this game, when it comes to having him, it's pretty cool. And also your OG characters like, you know, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Wu Kang, Johnny Cage, Jax, and um, who else? Raiden. Um, who else is in there? Uh, there's a whole lot of people. Melina. Kung Lao, and the list goes on. Um, I, like, I ain't gonna lie. I like the whole concept of Mortal Kombat. Uh, I, like I said, I've seen 
the movies, you know, the first movie was pretty good. The second one was a fucking flop. Um, I never owned every Mortal Kombat game ever. But, basically, I had, the only games that I had ever played and owned was between the first Mortal Kombat game that came out from the PlayStation 3, the reboot, and this one, XL. So, um, I'm gonna give you my pros and cons about this game. Well, the pros is, is that um, it has a good, decent amount of um, characters in the game. That's for sure. I will say that um, I will say that the gameplay is pretty cool. You know, even though you know the developers from the Injustice game helped with the concept of the fighting which you know that's how um injustice one and two had their game concept was from Mortal Kombat. um i like just like any other mortal Kombat game it's just very intense and the way how you do your fatalities and you know it's pretty dope i'm not going live i mean it's been like this since the 90s Mortal Kombat is an iconic game ever to do gore and do a lot of um, slaughtering and killing. So, ain't no game, ain't no fighting game gets more intense than this game. So, um, the story mode was pretty decent. I will say that the Krypton stage is cool. The cryptid stage is cool. Uh, but the fatalities like I said it takes the cake and that's why I have recorded so many times of me doing a fatality than a normal gameplay you know what I'm saying because it's really intense and I like the animations of it so the cons is is that um, the graphics I'm not I'm not too much of a fan of it I'm not gonna lie I know it doesn't suck, but it can do so much better than that. Like I was expecting so much more into it. I like I wasn't really liking the whole coloring or the textures of how it's it's made. So that's my cons about it. And I feel like certain characters in the game I wasn't really too much of a fan with. So um Honestly, that's just pretty much what my cons is best about Mortal Kombat XL. It's just the graphics could done a lot better. Like they could have sharpened it up a little bit. That's that's what I feel like it is. You know, everybody has their different opinions about graphics, but you know, sometimes in most cases, um, if you're a hardcore gamer, you either do care about graphics or you care about the gameplay. So in most cases, games either lack on good graphics or good gameplay but I think the gameplay has um, covered everything through the uh, covered the whole game besides the uh, graphic wise uh, like I said I like the how they bring featured characters in this game which is unique and I like how you do the fatality and the X, um, x-ray um, mode where you get to see uh, any ligaments in the body getting cracked, you know, it's, like I said, Mortal Kombat, they make it very intense as, as possible, so my whole concept is, is that this game has been around since the 90s and started from the um, arcade and the um, first gen consoles, I feel like, you know, it advanced to the point where it got to be very realistic and got more gory to the point where it wants to attract their uh, fellow fans and gamers out there which is not a problem I mean I feel like like I said this game it's too intense I will not sh shit on that I mean any Mortal Kombat game is really intense but it's just to the point where it, at least it follows up to the last 
Mortal Kombat games over the uh, years, but I just feel like it needs to sharpen its graphics up a lot better. Uh, the gameplay itself is pretty good, um, but I don't see myself playing this game all the time, you know, because with me, when I like a game, and when it comes to a game where I'm playing it for uh, a moment of time just to beat the game, and if the game is at the point where it's not like you want to ever play it again, it's just like you play it, you enjoy it, and there's nothing else for you to pretty much go back on. So with Mortal Kombat, any Mortal Kombat game I've played over the years, it's just that rather if I'm with a friend or playing arcade mode, when you when I own a Mortal Kombat game, it's just that I play it and you know it's pretty much one of my uh, least favorite fighting games of all time. But I will say that it's a good game, but it's not entirely my favorite, you know, compared to like uh, Tekken, Street Fighters, Dragon Ball Z, and the list goes on. Uh, Mortal Kombat is pretty much a iconic game and I cannot deny it to the point where I won't think that it sucks um, I don't think it sucks at all but it's just that you know with Mortal Kombat if, if you're a veteran in this game you know what you're doing but if you don't know what you're doing as far as button smashing and stuff like that you, you gotta learn how to play this game just like any other games that is really technical so learn how to do the combos learning how to do the fatalities and stuff like that so it takes a lot of practice to play this game but some people who are beginners or just don't really give a fuck about being a persistent gamer they just want to go ahead and just play for the hell of it but you know, if you really want to know how to play the fatality mode, then, you know, your best bet is to learn, pause, and memorize the buttons and the combos that was given. So, other than that, I will say that Mortal Kombat is a very, very, very legendary and unique game thus far. I will not shit you not. And I would highly suggest y'all to buy this game. I mean, I'm sure uh, this is an old game, so it's just out. It's just for the people out there who haven't played or doesn't own a Mortal Kombat game at all. So, which I'm just giving y'all some um, a lookout or pretty much telling y'all to just you know check this game out if you want to play something new giving you a heads up about things but thus far I can really say that I enjoyed the story mode I enjoy the gameplay I like how they had Jason alien versus predator I mean I feel like I can go on forever you playing as alien and Leatherface you know because those are one of the dopest characters from the game I like how in the story mode you get to do the button smashing and stuff like that and good um, cinematic point of views so anyway still folks I'm gonna to have to wrap this up please leave your comments on the comment sections below like and subscribe until then folks SBS wrapping this shit up thanks for watching peace out finish him fatality